So guys, we're back. Um, uh, today, uh, I'm going to tell you guys um, some simple rules. Uh, probably about four things that you should follow. Um, if you stick to these four things when you're trying to buy, a, looking to buy a video card, you shouldn't be. Uh, you won't be disappointed with your performance, and you won't make uh, a bad choice if you follow these these four basic rules now this video is for the entry level person um, somebody who just doesn't know you know anything about video cards or you know what to look for at all um, or people who don't quite understand yet um, all the the lingo that goes with uh, gaming on the PC First of all, I hope you guys at least know that um, if you buy a computer, um, you're going to need a video card to game on. It's, it's, that's what they were designed for. You have to have one. Okay? Um, if, you, if you're trying to game on um, a computer that has like integrated graphics, the majority of the time, the graphics won't be up to snuff for um, the resolution that you'll be running, which is um, anything less than 1080p. So, um, number one, the number one thing, well, I'll just go down the list here. The first thing, get you guys a pen and paper out. Uh, the first thing you're going to want is a PCI Express card video card and you're gonna want to make sure that your motherboard also has a PCI Express slot so you want PCI Express on your video on your video card on the card that you're trying to trying to buy that you're looking for online or if you're in Best Buy or if you're in your local computer store and you also want to make sure that you check before you go check your motherboard make sure it, it has a PCI Express slot um, if you don't know what those are, look them up on on YouTube or some videos or something. You'll find you can find pictures and videos of what those are. Uh, the second thing is, and it goes right along with making sure you have a PCI Express slot. Um, depending on if you're going into like a retail store, you know, like Best Buy or Fry's or a, a computer store, um, you might have somebody they're just going to try to upsell you on you know gen 2 over gen 3 or over gen 1 um, uh, PCI Express now what you're going to have to what you need to know is this there's no difference between PCI Express um, 1.0 over PCI Express 2.0 over PCI Express 3.0 except for the amount of bandwidth that's, a, that's available, video bandwidth that's available to it. If you're gaming on one screen with one video card, which, most, which is what most of you guys will be doing, or even one screen with two video cards, you will not see any difference between any of the generations, whether it's generation you know, 1.0 Generation 2, which is generation, you know, which is uh, PCI Express 2.0, or Gen 3, which is uh, PCI Express 3.0. There's no difference. Don't worry about it. It's just it's a non-issue. You just make sure that you have a PCI Express slot, and they're all interchangeable, all generations. Okay. The th the third thing that you're going to have to worry about is make sure, and this is the most important thing. You need to make sure that the video card has GDDR5 memory on it over GDDR3. If it has GDDR3 or if you're looking at the box and it doesn't even say what it has, don't buy it. I'm going to repeat that for the people in the cheap seats. Only get GDDR5. Do not get GDDR3 okay the fourth thing and this also ties in with the fact of the card having 
having GDDR5 memory on it, you want to make sure it has at least one gigabyte of RAM or more, depending on how much how deep your pockets are. Okay, you want at least one gigabyte. If it has less than one gigabyte of RAM on it, do not buy that card because these are the standards that are out right now. As long as you follow these guidelines you will be able to play games the majority of games at 30 frames per second or better at 1080p or less like a lesser resolution you will, you will get at least 30 frames per second average in games or more if you follow these four basic rules okay um, if you do that if you follow these four basic rules <coughs> You won't make a, a bad purchase, or you or you won't be you know unsatisfied with what you get. Um, as long as you have a CPU that that has two two physical cores or more, and you apply these rules to the video card that you're getting, um, whether it's you know eighty dollars or two hundred. Um, that's another point I want to make too. After about the 175 to 200 dollar range, you the amount of money that those that you have to pay for those cards, the performance that you get isn't worth it. You need to just back off, especially if you're on a budget and you're just looking to get you a, a video card. If you're trying to spend anywhere from like 80 to about 125 dollars on a video card, I can make some some uh, recommendations for you. You need to be looking at the HD 7750s, the HD 7770s, and the HD 7790s, if you can still find them. Um, the, I think it's the R7250s are okay, but I wouldn't go any lower than that. Um, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're lucky enough or you know I should say lucky enough um, it, if all you can afford is like a, a an HD 6670 make sure it is the GDDR5 version not the GDDR3 version okay um, if you just follow these those rules you should be okay um, another thing too, I've noticed that a lot of you guys, I've seen a lot of videos of people just, um, they're not running, um, full anastropic filtering, and you should be. You should be running your, your, uh, anastropic filtering at 16 by, nothing less. If you follow these four things that I told you, you apply these things, you will, you should be able to turn that anastropic filtering all the way up and also turn your textures all the way up but you listen though you have to understand this the cards in the 80 to 175 to 200 dollar range were not meant to handle any aliasing you guys need to stop using it I know I keep saying this I keep preaching this in every video but it's there's a lot of hard head people out there you're just gonna have to get used to the jaggies the little staircases being on your straight lines but if you do that, you can turn up all your textures and you can get really good gameplay at 30 frames per second or better in most games at 1080p or less resolution. So, um, and these are some of the things that you, that you want to turn off in order. You might want to get a pen and paper out for these too. After you've applied these, these things, um, and you went to your you your video cards um, control panel and you've enabled 16 by anastropic and put your textures all the way up to high and you can do this on both camps Nvidia and AMD if you guys are not sure I'll, I'll include the videos that I made of these um, specific uh, um, settings I'll just put a put a video or a link to both of those that I've made because I made one for both for Nvidia and AMD um, so you guys know which up but here are the things after you've put all your your anastropic all the way up in your end game and in your control panel 
and put your textures all the way up in game and in your in your control panel if you do this you'll have a much better gaming per, uh, experience because your games will look amazing and you won't have that much of a performance hit at all um, but after that if you if you're having problems and this is how it goes you start turning these things down or off to get your performance back up but you don't mess with those textures you keep them at full and you keep your anti your uh, anastropic filtering at full at 16 by these are the things you'll start turning down in order any agents in first turn that off shadows next you can turn those down or to, to low or medium which, you know and do you some tests and see which you see how it how it goes for you reflections are another thing that slows your cards down then the the, the um, dynamic lighting like HDR etc so if you do these things guys you should be fine just follow these directions you should be okay alright and that's how you make a good decision on how to choose or you know a, a video card when you're just going into the shop and you don't really know nothing you take those write those four things down and you should be able to be uh, to choose a good uh, make a good decision an informed decision and you know not have to worry about taking your video card back because you're disappointed with the uh, performance alright thank you guys for listening thank you for watching have a good day